stop start sort of game, um, what were your thoughts on that, especially the first half where it seemed like you guys struggled to get any sort of flow offensively? Yeah, um, exactly that. It took a while to get flowing offensively. Um, we tried to go to a particular game model. Um, wasn't as clean as we'd hoped and liked. Um, you know, Keanu's a big focus, especially, and, and so when he's face fouled, Rajan Tucker, and we had to go stitch him up, and we sort of had to look to other avenues, uh, went to try and get him back going. Um, but yeah, I think it was just a result as well. It was a bit of a, a long schedule, uh, a long couple of weeks. Um, but, you know, credit to the guys. Like, we just really were gritty to the end and made it a contest, and, you know, I can't fault what, what the boys uh, did in the face of adversity. Uh, there's a trend, there's a change in the climate and, um, you know, that's something we're going to have to uh, change, right? You know, Keanu's um, had two three-throw attempts in the last two games and he was leading the league in attempts. So, um, you know, I felt like there was a bit of contact. Clearly there wasn't and so be it. Um, but, you know, we, 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 we keep trying to go to him because that's how we can best get his looks. Um, you know, but he was a warrior. Like I said he, he's he's got a couple of stitches. He's um, every time he got hit again, you know, he sort of had to run over and we had to clean it up again because it was just hanging on. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was it was a great effort by Keanu. I thought. Outside of DJ hitting some big shots, what what changed in the fourth quarter that you know you guys seem to get a bit more continuity? Yeah, I think it was just, you know, it's like, what can you do, right? It's it's us versus the world. Um, you know, that mindset's worked for us before. Um, it's it's when it's a little bit more glaring, it just presents a, a better target for us and a better objective. And, you know, I didn't do my part in, in trying to galvanise the group, especially at the start. Um, so it was cool when they sort of steered the ship and redirected it and we regathered our focus at half time. And, you know, we did a great job defensively. Um, then slowly when we got the points going in, in that fourth quarter, the main thing for us, we just keep sort of trying to go back to what's working for us and, and we get better with that. Uh, Chris Golding's field goal attempts are trending upward today, slightly different because he had Murko shadowing him the entire game. What, what are your thoughts on Murko's performance tonight, especially on that end? Yeah, massive, you know, because he came out and he hit a couple of daggers at the start. He hit a few, I think Tucker hit a few, and the momentum was really in Melbourne's favour and so... Um, yeah, I turned down the bench and he's like ready to go. So I was like, all right, like it's like you know when you got like a dog and you open up the gate a little bit and it just shoot, you know, go straight into the street and that's what Mirko did. And uh, now nah, credit to him, you know, Bull found himself unfortunately wrong in a couple of calls and so Mirko stepping up the way he did tonight. Um, yeah, it was really massive, really you know part of that um, group that sort of just you know really locked in and, and, and try to make it a contest as best we could. Mirko, did you come into this game a little bit more amped, knowing that it's big CG, knowing the atmosphere would maybe be a bit more uh, heated than a usual one? Yeah, I mean, any time you verse, you know, a boomer, it's always, you know, you sort of can't wait for that matchup. And, you know, I've sort of guarded Goulding a long time and it's, and it's sort of always a challenge, but knowing what shots he's going to take, because those are shots that I would take as well, as a junior especially, so, you know, that's always in my back pocket, but, yeah, it's always a good challenge of him, it's always fair and competitive, and, but, yeah, it's it's very hard, very taxing on your body, because we've got about 500 screens to get through for him, but, yeah, I mean, but it wasn't just Goulding, you know, I mean, they played well from the start, Rajon Tucker got into rhythm, um, and yeah, and then I think Marcus Lee in the first half was massive on those boards. He's tipping out, and he's you know we've got to do a better job on that. What do you mention the, uh, the schedule? You know, you're on the back end of a, a tough little stretch right now. Um, how did the players feel going into this one? Did, was there a sense of fatigue? I guess, or was everyone? Did you get a sense that everyone was sort of up for this challenge? Yeah, well, we're definitely up for it. I mean, it's it's one of the biggest games of the year, knowing it's an open roof game. So I don't think you know we don't want to use fatigue as an excuse. Obviously, you know. You know, it is fatiguing to be, you know, after the flight and uh, all that stuff, but I don't think anyone talked about it because, you know, it is a game and you get excited, you get the adrenaline, so, you know. And you like playing under the open roof. I believe you've played in these leagues before. Are you the only one on the Taipans who had uh, Majuk? Myself and Majuk, yeah, my first year, so I think it was three seasons ago. Yeah, we got that one. And yeah, I mean, it is... 
I mean, it is pretty cool, like how they do it all, and then it's just a bit in, tricky in the second half coming out because it is much colder. But, you know, it's just the atmosphere and you don't think about the open roof at all. Does it play at all into your minds early on offensively in terms of shooting at all or not, not once you've kind of been out there warming up? No, nah, just as long as the bird shit doesn't fall on you, you're all good. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, 40, Tajir, the last couple of games, seemed to really be finding his way and getting back to his best basketball. Um, you know, obviously not the result you wanted tonight and not, and not against Perth, but does that give you confidence down the stretch run that you're going to potentially get more out of that position as well and, and potentially um, help this squad get back to playing some better basketball as you were earlier on in the season? Yeah, because we can move Taj around different spots and, you know, you can get DJ as a bit of a ball handler and um, you can get Taj off the ball working as a screener or in a dunker spot and, and he's really effective sort of going downhill and, and, and finishing at the rim and, um, you know, he, he's multi-dimensional and so, you know, it's, it's, it's a good... Uh, player to have uh, when you can throw out some quirky lineups and some different style looks on the offensive end, and he's just really adaptable. And do you think you'll continue to use him uh, off the bench going down the stretch of this season, or you see how that plays out? Yeah, because I mean, he's one of our, uh, you know, we can bring him in and run a bit of point as well, and so uh, it gives Shannon a bit of relief uh, knowing he can defer to him, um, you know, because Shannon, you know, might start on a tougher matchup like Bull and then. You know, we can bring Taj in to sort of take over that tough matchup and, and take care of some of the ball handling duties and, and um, you know, again, pose some, you know, particular matchups, uh, opportunities that in our favour. So, yeah, for, for the most part. And he's, he's, he's taken it on really well. Uh, he's embraced it and that's the, that's the other great part about him. Keanu uh, went down after a dunk early on in that first quarter. Was that just a little ankle tweak or what was the story there? And is he fine now? Yeah, someone was in his landing space. Um, I feel like you know, I have to go back to see what the update is, the rule on that. But yeah, it was just a little tweak. And uh, Sam um, coming back from the concussion um, was okay tonight, got through all right. Um, I imagine having this period of rest now leading up to your next game on New Year's Eve is probably welcome at this stage. Yeah, it was great that we could get him on the floor um, just to sort of, you know, dust the cobwebs off. He's had an unfortunate run just in terms of the things that have kept him out, you know, illness. Um, concussion um, so uh, to get this one game and then now we got a week on the floor preparing for a New Year's Eve game um, it was perfect timing All good. Thank you very much. beautiful thank you thank you you too